Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to smoke some ribs using the 3-2-1 method on the Char Griller Offset Smoker. Just going to do one rack of ribs today. This is from Snake River Farms. They automatically go ahead and trim up everything for you. They're really nice ribs. They also remove the membrane on the back. So what we're going to do is they're, they're already a little tacky, so I'm not really going to worry about a binder today. I do want to start off with some SPG, which is my rub. It's going to get just a, a light coating on the back side here. We're going to be using Smiling Swine's rib rub today. Again, we're not doing it really heavy on the back side. We do want a little bit of a coating back here. There is some exposed meat here. Flip it over and do this side. Again, some SPG. Got a little other hidden seasoning in there. Now our coating of Smiling Swine. All right, we got us a nice coating on these. We're gonna let them sit up while we get the smoker ready. While we're waiting for the smoker to get up to temp, we're using the Char Griller Champ today, as you can see. This is the off, their offset smoker. And we're also using the DigiQ DX3, and on here you've got your, this is your power, you've got your fan, this is your pit tip, and you got your food. We're not using one for food because we're just doing ribs today. You just really, it's super easy to set up. Couldn't frass anything any easier to do. The only other thing you'd have to do is you'd have to drill a hole. As you can see, I had to drill a hole in the firebox. It's one and three eighths inch. And you can see that's the fan. This is gonna help regulate the heat for me so I don't have to worry about this and constantly be babysitting my pit. Our coals are getting hot. And if you look right down in there, you can see where I actually drilled the hole for that fan to be able to blow through. We're gonna be using a, some post oak today. We'll let that get smoking really well and then we'll get our ribs on. We got our pit up to temp. Let's go ahead and get our ribs on. Put it right here in the middle. Kind of straighten these bones up a little bit, squish them together. Try to get them straight. If you can see right over here where I'm pointing at, this is how we measure the pit temp with the DigiQ. And also we're running about 275, so we may end up going like a 221 instead of 321. We'll kind of see how that works out today. And also I forgot to mention that when you're using the DigiQ, again, it helps regulate the heat. So you close off the vent to the firebox and it blows it and it keeps the tent going for you. So we're gonna close these down and check in about an hour. We're one hour into it. The bark is starting to set up, it's getting some great color to it. We're gonna let it go for another hour, kind of see where we are then. And then after that, we may go ahead and wrap it or we may go ahead another hour and do the three, two, one. But we'll check it out, see how it looks, and we'll let you see it then. We've been going another hour, so I want to use my Mr. Barbecue Mister to spray some water on there to keep them moist, keep them from drying out. It's really good water on there. And it's basically not gonna take any more smoke, so I'm not gonna put any more wood in there. I'll just probably put some charcoal on there to keep it going, keep it at 275. And we'll check it again. I'm gonna check it in about 30 minutes to kind of see where we are. If at that time we may wrap them or we may go that additional uh, 30 minutes to give it that 3R mark. But we'll show you how they look at that time. All right, another hour. We're gonna go ahead and take these off. Great color, put them some full. All right, we got some brown sugar down here, some butter, and then some fire bee spicy honey. I'm gonna lay the meat side down. 
And then what we're gonna do is do the same here on top. A little brown sugar. Our butter, and now the fire bee spicy honey. I think that will work well together. I usually use tiger sauce, but with the honey, but this right here is gonna give it some great flavor as well. We'll double wrap these in full. We're gonna wrap them tight. Put these back on the smoker for another two hours. We've been going two hours. We're gonna go ahead and check these ribs out right quick. Lots of juice. Everything is rendered down very well. Those look really nice. We're gonna take them off. Let's flip them around here. Look at that. Look at the color, just that brown sugar and that honey. It's got that gloss to it. Put our barbecue sauce on there. We're gonna be using Bob's smoking southern barbecue sauce right here in North Carolina. Goodness, this is gonna be some awesome, awesome ribs. Look at that. Look at the color, guys. Mm, mm, mm. All right, we're gonna get these an hour covered. All right, our ribs are ready to go. We're going to get them off and then we're going to let them rest for a few minutes. Look at that great, great color. A little rest and then we'll slice them to them. Here are our finished ribs. Again, very nice color. We let them rest for about 10 minutes. We're going to cut into them right now. See how we did. Still plenty of juicy. Got it some nice, very nice smoke ring in there. We'll cut into a couple of these and we'll give them a taste test. Again, hopefully you can see that nice sheen, that nice color. Man, I know these are gonna be great. Let's see here. Cut that end piece off. Try this, that's the other side. Very nice looking rib. All right, we're gonna give this rib a taste. Clean bone, mm -mm -mm. that is some, some kind of good right there. Mm. Clean bone, not falling off. Perfect, perfect, perfect bite. Clean as a whistle right there. These were not overly spicy, even by using that spicy honey. It's a perfect balance of that sweet, got the sweet from the honey, you got that spice as well. The great rub that we put on there, the sauce, guys check them all out show more section below as always you won't go wrong with any of these products perfectly perfectly cooked on that char griller this is actually my first cook on that offset smoker by char griller and overall i'm very very happy the dgq held the temp exactly like it's supposed to do there was a few spikes here and there but that's basically my fault I'm trying to get used to it but overall i'm super happy with it Guys, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you will consider subscribing to our channel. I appreciate every one of you, everyone who's watching, and all of my new subscribers. We love every one of you. We're on Roku, we're on Instagram, Facebook as well. Until next time, God bless.